guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a vlog and I'm gonna take you through a full day in my life. Today is gonna to be a very long study day because I don't know if I mentioned before, I am studying for my board exam that's gonna be coming up in two weeks. So I'm trying to hit the books and trying to get as much studying done as I can in preparation for that exam. So I'm gonna show you my study setup and what it is that I do and how I review and pretty much we're gonna be at home for most of the day and I'm just gonna be studying. So I'm gonna show you what it's like and maybe we'll go out for a little bit because it's so nice and sunny outside. It's finally becoming nice, consistent, warm weather here in Pennsylvania. Uh, yesterday it was almost snowing. It was so cold and it is just not the vibe. I thought it was spring already and I'm waiting for spring weather. Like, look at me, I'm already wearing spring clothes. So we'll see where the day takes us and I'm gonna bring you along with me. And here we have Miss Maple. Good morning, good morning. She needs a haircut so bad. She's so overgrown and scruffy. And I've been trying to get her into the dog groomer and she's booked for like two and a half weeks. I've been trying to cut her hair and everything around her eyes, but look at her. She's a big poofball. Aren't you, Maple? Are you big poof ball? <laughs> okay. Yes. I got this water bottle off of Amazon because I'm trying to drink more water. That's my New Year's resolution. One of the things that I'm so bad at is drinking water. And this I think is really helpful because it has all the times on here and some like motivation and quotes on there to kind of keep you going. So. I'm gonna fill this up and try to drink this by noon to one o'clock. That's my goal. We'll see how it goes. If I'm filming this, then I think that'll push me even a little bit more. Okay, so I have my computer set up and this is my little office that I have. So my fiance and I both split our time studying in here. So he's at work today. So I'm gonna be studying and just getting work done in here sometimes you know, he likes to go in the bedroom or sit on the couch, but I actually like to be in an actual study space. So I kind of feel like it puts me in the zone. And um, yeah, so I have like my computer in my study area, and this is where I like to be the most productive if I can. So what's really important is to have a hard drive with all of your documents and all of your different video files. I have this G drive and I have another terabyte drive on there. And that is really important for saving a lot of your information in case your computer crashes, which mine has done. And I lost all my information because the screen wouldn't turn on, but thankfully they were able to save my data. So it's really important. I highly recommend getting an external hard drive to keep all of your stuff just as a backup. So I wanna talk a little bit about studying. The way that I personally like to study is that I am a visual learner. So I like to watch videos, sit back and just watch and listen. I don't necessarily like to write a million notes and have perfect binders of all of the notes from the textbook. I don't like to read really anything. I like to sit back and listen and kind of repetitively hear it over and over again until it sinks in, or maybe it doesn't. But I have a whole variety of videos saved on my external hard drive from both Kaplan, AAFP, Online Med Ed. Um, I also have a program called DIT, Doctors in Training, which is very basic stuff, but it does go over all of the material of step one and step two um, in terms of the layout of the first eight books. So if you can download those videos or any video system that you think works the best for you, I highly recommend, well, first of all, learning what type of way you like to retain information. Are you a visual learner where you like to watch videos? Are you a tactile learner where you like to, you know, go out and do things where you are learning by performing the tasks? Are you a reader where you can just read books and that's how you get your information or, or writing notes and doing things over and over again repetitively? One thing about university is that it really taught me about how I like to study and how I best retain information. And this is how I do it. So I like to watch videos and then try and do questions in conjunction with that. Sometimes I'll watch videos on a whole topic and then I'll try and do questions a little bit later. 
and I will do notes. I will have some notes, you know, just so I have things that are high, high yield written down. That way I can remember those things. And especially in terms of medicine, you're going to have to have some statistical equations and different pathways and stuff. So I try to write down the most high yield stuff. But really on a study day, what I'll do is I will sit, I'll watch and listen, and then I'll try and do questions after. So I'm going to show you the DIT videos that I've been watching, and I'll show you the two question banks that I've been using to study for the ABFM, the Family Medicine Boards. Let's get started. Okay, so when you look up on here, you can see that I have the DIT Step 2 CK videos. I have been watching Internal Medicine and it outlines all the different systems that you can look at here. And I'm just going over musculoskeletal and I'll open the first video and I open it up with the VFC player and I just wanna show you what it looks like because it's a really great program just to go over things in a very efficient, fast way. I do put the playback speed a little bit faster just to get through the video a little right, quicker. Let's go for musculoskeletal one. First question, an elderly woman with a history of cholelithiasis presents with a five day history of vague intermittent abdominal pain and vomiting. So yeah, I really like watching these videos because it gets through the material so fast, it's so informative, and it just gives you all the most high yield things in the least amount of time, which is what you obviously want. You wanna maximize your time and be as efficient as possible with getting through all this material. And then the next important thing is UWorld. So UWorld is available for step one, step two, step three, and they also have an ABFM Family Medicine Board question bank. So I do this and both the AFP videos. Oh my God, don't judge all my tabs, okay? But um, UWorld is, is really good for just making sure you're on top of all your clinical knowledge. And it's the exact same as the format for step one and step two. I think it's like 2000 questions. And yeah, you can get your performance here, how many questions you've used. See, 67 percentile means I'm over here on the bell curve which is pretty good. So we have a few more questions to go and gonna get that started. And the AFP as well has tons of board review questions. They have something like 3000 questions. So when you log in and you open it, you have all of these questions here and it really helps to go through all of these questions because these are similar to the in-training exam questions, which is kind of the the format of how the ABFM likes to ask questions. So yeah, these are the things that I like to do and I feel like I've been really effective. I mean, I've passed all my exams this far, so let's knock on wood that things will be okay for the next one. And yeah, so today is gonna be study day. I'm gonna try and do two UWorld blocks, watch a few videos, and maybe do some AFP questions, I'm not sure. Thing is, I still wanna, you know, go outside and get some fresh air and maybe take the dog to the dog park and just try to like change my scenery a little bit. And that way I'll still enjoy a little bit of the weekend and not be stuck inside all day. So yeah, we're gonna get started and I'll just try and do maybe a time lapse or something so you can follow me along while I study, okay? Thanks guys. all of the videos that I wanted to watch and I did two blocks so I did around 80 questions from UWorld so I'm pretty happy with that I'm ready to take a break and get a little bit of a snack in I did have some lunch which was just some leftovers but I'm actually gonna make my green smoothie now so one thing that is really great about green smoothies is that they're obviously so healthy for you and they allow you to put in as much veggies as you want and you'll be getting a hearty you know amount of vegetables which is always a bonus and they introduce a lot of fiber into your diet and it fiber helps you move your bowels and that's always something that I struggle with and I've been trying to be 
as proactive as I can in terms of eating more fiber, eating more veggies, and just drinking more water like I showed you earlier. So I'm gonna show you the recipe and let's get started. So what you're gonna need is some ginger, half of a lemon, half an apple, a green apple, some uh, kale, this is like a mix of spinach and kale, but um, kale on its own, and then I also add my own extra spinach from what's in here. And, and I blend it all together with some almond milk, and I try to make it as smooth as possible because it can get a little gritty with the spinach and kale. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And it is so yummy, it keeps you full, and I really love it. I forgot to mention that I also add a few pieces of mango chunks and half a banana to add a little bit more sweetness and creaminess. So that's what makes it so delicious. probably watch a few more videos and then do a couple of the AFP question quizzes um, and try and do you know two to three of those so that'll be another 30 40 questions and yeah I have to just try and get some review done before everybody comes home and then the house becomes chaos so it's really hard to study so I'm gonna get my water this is my second bottle by the way I did drink the first one which is so awesome and yeah, let's get started. Look who's home from work. Maple, who's that? Are you so happy? Your daddy's home? Aww. Maple, were you having fun at the doggy park? Look at all the puppies here today. 